Bring Miss Princess up here. All right. And so what I'm going to do with Miss Princess, because Miss Princess is also very, um, got a lot of energy and a little, maybe a little nervousness going on. She has anxiety. Anxiety issues. Okay. So, she's on fluoxetine, so she's got everything. Okay. So she's a great example of I'm going to work both of you guys at the same time. Because okay. sometimes one of the best things that ha can happen is if I work on your adrenal system, uh -huh. her adrenal system can calm down. So this is what I learned when I did all that horse workshop stuff in the beginning, is that there's great communication that happens in our nervous systems just by being next to each other. And dogs and horses totally get this. I mean, we've, we can feel it. Like, you can feel if I come close to you, you're like, I'm not quite sure about that. So without ever touching you, my, my magnetic field or energetic field or whatever word you want to say comes into yours, and you can feel that. The dogs and horses read that all the time. That's why they know when you're sick and you need to feel extra, you know. They, they know all of that. So it also can work in reverse. So when a dog is really hyper-aroused and anxious, if I can help mom get calm, then often dog will get calm. And I'm assuming you're fine if, if uh, Princess gets on the table with you as well? Okay. okay. We're going to let her have that choice okay. again with okay. the choice of it. And is she free to move around or do you want to keep her on a leash? No, she's, you want me on a hooker? You can just let her, yeah, just, or just drop the leash and let, it, let her go. Okay. So I want to have you start faced up here. Face up? Face up. On so, yep, on your back. So <laughs> head right here. It doesn't need to be in the head cradle, just right there. Oh, and Princess says, I'm ready, ready to go. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. Princess. All right. So, Dennis, am I okay if I'm on the back side of that, of her, so people can still see what I'm doing? Hi, Princess. I know. You want to see, what is it that I'm going to do with Mom? Okay. Okay. Come here, Princess. Hi. So, I'm just going to come up under here, underneath your back. We're going to find your adrenal glands. And we're going to calm and work with your adrenal glands. And we'll see if this can help. And if Princess gets up here, we'll work back and forth as well. Hi, Princess. Do you want to come up? Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Princess. <laughs> Hi, Princess. Yes. Hi, sweet girl. Mm -hmm. I know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can we lay down? Can we find our calm? Yeah, let's find Mom's calm. Let's see if we can find your calm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Princess. <laughs> Everybody's going to get kisses. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes. So again, I'm not forcing Princess to do anything. I'm just inviting her to come in. And the herd of horses that I worked with taught me this. I used to choose which horse I was going to work with each day and then one day I thought I'll just gonna walk out in the field and see what happens and guess what they line up they come in they walk away and they come back because they are tuned in with what's going on and sometimes I'm working with the owner in the field just doing that vertical work and sometimes I'm working with the individual horses, but they all like get tuned in and the ones over the fence are like, whoa, I want some of that too. Hi. Hi, Princess. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hold that spot there and we're gonna hold this spot in you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. There we go.
Okay. Let's see if I can. Do I need to integrate now? Yeah, hi. That was a big shift. You got really quiet there for a few seconds. That was great. And for some dogs who it's a real big issue, that's a step in, its, in itself, that we had a few minutes that she really let me connect into her adrenals and just meet them in the calm place. <laughs> so if we were to continue to keep working with that, what, I, what I've seen in my practice so far is if dogs like this, if we just keep working with it, this time period where they're, they're sitting here will get longer and longer. They'll come and lay on top of your adrenals to help their adrenals calm down and it becomes their place, kind of their refuge. It's like, oh, I can't quite figure out how to get there myself, but mom can help me remember how to get there. Until that their body can build that neural pathway of, oh, I do know how to get there. Look, Dennis is walking around. It might make me a little interested, but look, she came right back. Mm -hmm. So she's, she's finding it already. <laughs> so you guys were great. So oh, it, there's oh. a little example. <laughs> okay. of, a, of where I would start with you guys <laughs> and how that would work together. Thank you very much.